pickups for the month of June. I'm going to start off with games that uh, I picked up, one of them which I'm going to be giving away. And then the other three, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have the uh, system to play them on as of yet, but uh, I, I just couldn't pass them up. So, first game here is Ratchet and Clank on PS4. I'm going to give it away to a friend of mine. Possibly trade. Um, the first game I'm going to show here is Sonic 2 on Game Gear. This is all three of Game Gear games. Next one here is Sonic Chaos. Now, the other thing I got in this trade, Ratchet and Clank plus these three games, um, I really couldn't pass up. I don't see it very often, um, aside from maybe eBay, and I'm not willing to pay <laughs> uh, eBay prices. Um, and that is uh, Axe Battler, A Legend of Golden Axe on Game Gear. Um, for those that aren't familiar, it's an action-adventure game. Um, the original three Golden Axe games on Genesis... Or the Mega Drive, depending on where you where you live in the world. Um, there were hack and slash beat em up games, and so this kind of took it in a different direction. Um, so really glad I have that in my collection, and look forward to uh, playing that at some point. <laughs> um, the next two games I have here, um, I'm going to have uh, links to the reviews for these games rather than show gameplay footage during this video. Um, and the first one here is Return Fire on PS1. Now, this game is actually my original copy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got it back from the person I gave it to. About, about a decade and a half ago. It's got a lot of scratches on it. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, really heavily scratched. Uh, I got it from a Game Crazy. Um, back in Washington, I paid 15 bucks for it. Now it's like a... Well, it's, it's pretty hefty. It's probably double that now loose so glad I got that back in my collection and again link to the video for that is going to be below um, it's actually a comparison video to the PS1 version as well as the unreleased Sega Saturn version so uh, if you haven't checked that out yeah it's 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 worth <laughs> it's worth checking out it's a pretty good game uh, next game I have here um, is actually a game I reviewed quite a while ago um, and that is Nailed <laughs> on 360. Um, not complete, just had the manual. But, um, but yeah, uh, glad to have this. It was actually a lot of fun to, to review. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you want to check this game out, link to the review is in the description down below. These games we've got here, I'm going to start off with the only Game Boy Advance game I have in this slot. Now, you guys may remember this from the. Uh, <laughs> From the Restaurant 5 video I did on my channel, the review for that. Um, but I got uh, <laughs> I got Magical Quest 3 uh, starring Mickey and Donald. Um, now, if you guys recognize that, it's because it's actually the, uh, <laughs> the fake cartridge <laughs> uh, from Tappers uh, <laughs> actually picked it up. So I'm uh, glad, glad I got that. It's actually a lot of fun. Um... But yeah, as you can see from the gameplay here, it is a um, it's a typical Emmy Mouse game. It's similar to, say, Castle Illusion or World of Illusion, um, if you're familiar with those games. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play. I love the graphics, love the art style. Well, art style, graphics, same thing. Uh, <laughs> the audio is great. Uh, gameplay is a lot of fun. Um, so really glad I got to play it. Now, you'll notice in the gameplay here that I'm not that great, and that's because I'm using the Retron 5 Bluetooth controller. Um, and that controller just, <laughs> it's really not good for anything, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's what I, it's what I could, uh, easily, uh, use to play the game. So, um, so there you have it. That was, uh, that's Magical, sorry, that's, uh, Magical, yeah, Magical Quest 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, moving right along here. Next game, um, is actually a, I believe it's a reimagining, maybe it's a remake of an NES game. And that is Rygar. Rygar on the PS2. It is complete. So, um, unlike the, as you can see in the gameplay here, unlike the um, NES uh, ancestor, if you will, um, this plays a lot like 
uh, God of War, um, but you have a shield that you throw around um, instead. And it is based on, um, I believe, uh, I want to say it's uh, Roman mythology rather than Greek mythology. Um, it was a lot of fun to play. Um, it, uh, yeah, it was surprisingly a lot of fun to play. Uh, I was really enjoyed capturing gameplay footage for it. And uh, moving right along here with the next game, we've got uh, two more PS2 games here. Uh, next game, and I believe this was on, I want to say, um, Metal Jesus' channel. So I saw it there, I had to pick it up. And that's Rumble Racing on the uh, on the PS2. And again, that is complete, as most of the games I get from, from Tappers tend to be. Um, as you can see from the gameplay here, this is uh, very similar to, um, I guess you can call it like a like a Burnout meets Mario Kart. Um, uh, but so it's a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed playing it. I really sure it really looks cool for a uh, racing game. Um, although it is, uh, I don't want to say the controls are um, floaty, but it does feel like it's the controls aren't as aren't as tight as they could be um next game we have here and again this is complete it is street fighter the anniversary collection there we go uh this comes with street fighter 2 uh street fighter third strike as well as the anime uh movie all on one disc um, so that's kind of cool i need to have um, as you can see from the gameplay here, I'm not very good. <laughs> um, at least with uh, with the playthrough here, I did of, or the uh, rounds I did for it here for uh, Street Fighter Two. Um, with Street Fighter Two, it gives you all five variants of the uh, arcade game. So you have uh, Street Fighter uh, Street Fighter Championship Edition, um, Super Street Fighter, uh, Super Street Fighter Turbo, I think. Um, uh, hyper, uh, there's just, just five of them, that's all I know. Um, anyway, uh, with, when you fight the, uh, the, the computer, the AI, all of the opponents you fight are the, uh, super turbo variants. Um, and I don't know if it's a combination of that variant or, and or the, <laughs> the, yeah, the difficulty, but I just, as you can see, I'm just not very good. Um. In third strike here, I do actually end up winning the round. Um, a lot better <laughs> with uh, third strike there um, in that go than I was with the uh, second game. Um, the next two games I have here are actually 360 games. Um, these were gifted to me, so um, that's great. Uh, first game I got here is Bioshock. Now, this is the first time I have ever played a Bioshock game. I know. <laughs> um, but uh, it does not complete. It does not. And you know what? I just now realized it's actually in the PS2 case. <laughs> I just now noticed that. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's it's Bioshock. I mean, if you haven't played it, it's uh, it's it's a really good game. Um, I was surprised by the uh, the graphical detail in the game, as you can see from the gameplay. It's 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 a very beautiful game for being a 360 game. Uh, the water effects are great. The atmosphere is great. Um, I'm not very good at the game, as you can see, but uh, but it was definitely a lot of fun. So I do look forward to uh, playing and finish this game as well as other games in the series. Really great to, to have that in my collection. Uh, the next game I have here is Borderlands on 360. Actual Xbox case, but no manual. Um, I actually wound up probably swapping these two cases out. Um, I uh, uh, from the I played the uh, the second game a lot on the Vita. I still play it occasionally, uh, quite a bit. And uh, going from the second game to this game. Um, I really didn't care for it. Um, 
I mean, I'll, I'll probably get, you know, get, get back into it here, but um, it just feels off somehow. Um, as you can see from the gameplay here, it, uh, I don't know, I just, I feel that, I don't know if it's the, uh, the hit detection or just the overall feel of the game, it just, I mean, it feels, it, it feels familiar in the fact that it, Obviously, plays like the second game because first game is gonna play the th anyway. It, it it feels familiar in that aspect, but uh, but yeah, it just it feels off somehow. So I will eventually come back to it, but um, but yeah, I def definitely deserve a second chance. So I'll definitely come back to it when I have more time. Um, the last game I picked up here, and actually, you know what? I forgot something. I'll be right back game that I picked up and I think I can finally say uh, I have a bit of a problem <laughs> um, <laughs> I picked up Guitar Hero Live on the PS4 <laughs> that's what three versions now uh, came with a guitar and actually I really like this guitar um, it's got six buttons um, it's really nice Works really well. Um, oh, that's uh, oh well. Um, here's the game here. Now, uh, this is gonna be the last version I buy. <laughs> I, I think live is just about it here. It's actually the. Um, it's actually really neat. Um, it's the first game in the series, and I guess maybe even the last game at this point. Um, that actually uses real people. Um, as you can see, uh, here is a part of the gameplay footage. Um, you're in a you're in a band backstage. You come through the the opening here, and you uh, actually step on a stage, and you're handed a guitar, and you just start playing the song. Um, <laughs> it does get a bit of getting used to um, as they're. The buttons aren't actually colored buttons. They're um, either solid or they're, I guess, hollow. Um, and so, depending on what uh, what buttons are showing up on the screen, obviously determines what buttons you push. But it's it can get a bit confusing the faster it gets. But uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it as you're playing in front of a real crowd, it's really kind of neat. Uh, the better you do, the more hyped up the crowd gets, and the crappier you do, <laughs> they just, they let you know it. <laughs> um, as you can see here, I purposely started doing horribly, um, and they'll start booing you, they'll start throwing cups and stuff at you, um, it's actually a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, the band will be like, hey, what the, what the heck are you doing? Um, you know, you're, you're sucking. Um, so I think that was a really great... Uh, really great aspect of the game. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, definitely one of the best. I'm gonna say it, the best version of, of Guitar Hero that I've played um, out of all the versions that uh, that I own. Um, so there you have it. Those are my pickups for the month of June. Um, if you have, um, if you let me pack up a second. If there's any games here that you think I should be reviewing more in depth, please uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to, uh, to hear what you guys' thoughts are on those. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please like the video. We'd really appreciate it. Um, leave a comment. would love to see those comments. Um, read them and see what you guys' thoughts are on these pickups and uh, what you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do uh, do subscribe if you like the channel, if you like the content. Got some really great stuff uh, on the channel. More to come um, in the uh, in the weeks to follow. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.